Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. Well, in today's episode, uh, we are going to do a multi-part uh, multi video uh, series here going on on trying to get uh, you guys with me here in terms of trying to get my um, pressure washer. It technically is um, a budget-friendly pressure washer that I'm putting together utilizing my existing uh, pressure washer that I've owned for 16 years. So far, this thing has been going really good. It has, in fact, after I purchased it 16 years ago, there's many people out there that really said this um, Canadian Tire pressure washer product will will not last that long. And uh, in my surprise, this thing is still going today. It's a 1500 uh, PSI at uh, 1.5 GPM. And it served me well in the past few years. And uh, it did the job. Uh, I was able to clean all my cars in the process. Uh, it wasn't per se the, the the most equipped pressure washer, but hey, it did its job. Like I said, could be better, but you know, I just hate to throw something away that you know truly it still works and it does the job. Um, I try to to use my my tools uh, until they really give out on me. So in the process, I'm putting together something that a little bit better than what I have today. The actual. Um, pressure washer that came with this uh, the extension uh, or it started uh, leaking on me so I decided that after 16 years that I'm gonna try and replace the hose and the uh, the actual wand and the gun and upgrade a little bit better than what I have and the way I thought about it is that I'm gonna upgrade not accessibly uh, per se and uh, not the cheapest thing either but at the same time it's a reasonable priced products uh, that I could extend and uh, evolve from uh, going forward so if I'm gonna invest on putting my system together and by the way this is by no means uh, a cart setup it's going to be a wall mount setup I'm just using my cart here to display what uh, I'm gonna show you guys but what I'm doing here really is that I'm, I'm, I'm building a wall mount uh, system where I could easily just pull out and 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 you know put together and, and in a neatly order so anyways guys without further ado again it's a budget friendly system and that uh, I'm, I'm using parts that I can actually reuse as I upgrade as I get better as I improve in the area of uh, you know detailing uh, again, I mentioned the, 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 the channel is not a detailing uh, channel per se, not dedicated for that, but since the cars that I, uh, since with all the cars that I, that I, you know, work with and play around with, you know, at times I need to do some cleaning. So yeah, without further ado, I will show you guys all the parts that I need to upgrade this thing. Um, and these parts are really are parts that you could reuse as you improve as you upgrade your system in any areas of, of this anyways you could definitely reuse those and you know if you have to replace the uh, the pressure washer later on and end up doing a wall mount you could easily do that and uh, if you you know you need a, a new wand or a new uh, gun per se you know literally everything you can still reuse the key here really is the reel. I'll, I'll tell you the story about the reel and uh, definitely pure luck and uh, uh, a little bit of patience there I guess from, from my part uh, to find the reel. But I'll tell you guys how much it cost me to have this uh, with me today. So anyways guys, 
I'll tell you again, I'm gonna continue on showing you all the parts and uh, th that you will need as if you are going to do the same thing that I'm doing here. Hopefully they'll help you out. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so we start off with the, uh, the elbow that I have here for the hose, basically. Uh, the reason why I needed this is to put the elbow on the back of the um, pressure washer because, you know, I want to make sure that I'll be able to, you know, pin it against the wall without uh, any pipes or, or hose sticking out too much. Um, the second item here is the... Um, uh, we have the garden hose adapter and uh, that would be going uh, after installing this uh, this elbow and then uh, the next one is a quick connect uh, it is a uh, 3 8 um, male uh, quick connect to uh, 3 8 uh, female MPT or NPT um, that's going to be for the um, uh, what we need is, is for our quick connect for our uh, hose there. And then uh, this, the third one here is the uh, uh, the hose to trigger uh, quick connect. And so this one will be at the front of the um, inlet uh, for the, sorry, the um, uh, that's the inlet. And then um, this is going to be the outlet of the water coming from the, the pressure washer, coming out from the pressure washer. So that will be uh, coming, will be at the front here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And then we got this other elbow, um, which is a, uh, it's a 3 8 MP3. Again, uh, male to female or female to male. And this will be attached to, uh, it attached to here, to the hose. Uh, I have this uh, six foot uh, 3 8 uh, hose. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what this is uh, and uh, so we and where you can get this as well because that's a hard one to find um, and so this elbow here will be uh, will be connected to uh, to this part here basically uh, so that way the outlet uh, hose will sit like this uh, and of course it's going to be uh, with this quick quick connect and connecting this way so all that will be connected this way to con to be able to connect the the hose itself. So I'll show you how that how that's done. Um, and uh, also on the reel, uh, I have a, a three eighths again quick connect in here, and uh, that's just for me connecting to the gun itself. Uh, the quick connect, um, the three eighths quick connect mainly they do. Uh, I got them from um, Home Depot, and the Home Depot brands. Uh, they come with the the couplers as well. And so this one here, I don't really need it in this case for this application, but I'll keep it for, for uh, you know, for any use, I guess, that uh, I'll need it for. And and so with this one here, I won't be needing this one here. Let me see if I can remove it with one hand. Yeah, so I won't be needing this at all because I have no use for it, but technically, um, yeah, I'll be needing the, um, the female side of it. Uh, uh, to adopt the uh, the outlet uh, water and so yeah uh, in terms of the reel here guys as I mentioned uh, I was really lucky to find this reel I was just browsing over at uh, Facebook market and uh, ran into this reel it's uh, really it's in good condition I mean it's literally brand new um, a farmer from um, Lethbridge um, was selling this and guess what? How much it is, guys? How much I purchased uh, or paid for? Um, it's twenty-five dollars Canadian. Uh, he was selling this uh, and just trying to get rid of it because he has few more of this. He said that he doesn't need this one anymore. And uh, what it has is, um, I added this in just recently here uh, to to try it out. But this one has a uh, um, additional adapters that makes the gun uh, swivel in the process. There's a swiveling, it becomes a swiveling gun after the fact. Uh, so that's an added plus in, in this whole purchase of this um, gun. Sorry, the purchase of this reel. Not only that I have a 20 foot hose already, which I probably need another 20 foot, 20 foot or 25 foot hose uh, thereafter. But at this point that will do for now. Um, you know, it, it came with all this uh, additional items here too. Uh, so 
this is a really this is really a heavy duty uh reel uh, as you can see guys it's uh it's not one of those cheap kind that you have it's almost like uh, what the obsessed garage guys are are offering the blue one in fact i think it's even better than the 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 one that they're offering because as you can see guys it's really a heavy duty reel and you can even put um grease on them so that way they're grease uh, you can grease them up so that way they they'll remain movable and uh, for the longevity of the uh the the bearings underneath there so yeah and so yeah there's an adjuster here too to lock it down uh not mainly to just keep it steady there right so that way you know you can also so it doesn't roll by itself so you can also lock it here and uh yeah no it has a grease gun again a grease uh, inlet for greasing it again over there so yeah um so that's the that's the reel and uh the other things that i have going here as i mentioned um first of all this um this hose it took me a while to figure out where to oops to 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 buy this uh because i don't need a long one they come with a different sizes uh a three foot long uh four foot long or uh, three foot five foot and six foot i think it's a three eighths by six foot uh by mpt m a uh, hose and this is designed for uh there it's designed for um it looks like it's for like petrol petroleum based uh, hydraulic fluids or it can also be used for water so i, I have no problem and it, it, it is um a four thousand psi rated um Host. so it should be good if it's good for petroleum or or, or gasoline uh, then i'm sure it's good for water as well so i'm using this in a sense and uh, again it comes with different sizes uh you can buy them online uh through uh amazon uh which takes few few weeks to get but i was uh, lucky enough to find them at uh, prince's auto and uh i did purchase it uh and you know at this point since i'm having the um I'm gonna be mounting this in the wall and then this one will be sitting on the bottom you know on the floor so i need at least a six foot to to reach from my reel to the uh the pressure washer so that's the plan guys um uh, and uh as well i have purchased few uh p clamps that i'll be using to 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 tidy up all the hoses and stuff like that i have different sizes here small ones and, and large and, and medium size here so that's just for tidying up when it uh, comes to time um, and uh, a few other accessories guys that I purchased I bought the it is the um, I'll put this in my uh, I'll put the camera down so I could show you guys exactly what I have there, okay? All right, folks, uh, what I have on this box here uh, are the goodies, basically, here. I have my uh, foam gun, foam cannon, container. There's the actual sprayer. And, uh, oh yeah, the hose is inside here so, so that we, we don't lose it. Um, so the hose is right here, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, so technically, the foam cannon. And by the way, this is a Matt CC uh, brand. And uh, so I purchased this Matt CC brand, they're not so bad. I'll list the uh, the price on the uh, on the video here shortly and also in the comment down below. So uh, what I did is basically I purchased this set uh, of the gun and the actual sprayer itself, the foam cannon, um, and this is one set. So it's a good brand. I mean, it, it is really nice. It feels really good. It's non-swiveling, but I have the swivel here, so it should be fine in that regard. And um, so uh, let me put that down. Show you guys this. And uh, as well, I, I also purchased this, um, all this, uh, the um, the actual, what do you call this thing? It's a five piece matte CC, um, again, 
the different sizes of the um, um, the sprayers and uh, you know it come with a, a 40 degree 0 25 and uh, yeah and there was the other ones uh, it's hard to it's hard to see here but yeah there's few assortments of it and there's 15 so really um, you know you, you adopt them on the on this quick connect here and uh, basically then you can do some spraying right so yeah um, and again you connect this over here Let's see if I can remove this a second uh, yeah there you go so yeah so it'll be in that manner right there so so that's the situation guys the the other thing that's missing right now that's still coming is the uh, the wand and so I spent a little bit more on the wand by the way this item here it didn't cost me more than 60 70 dollars uh, Canadian on it uh, again I'll give you the exact prices and the one itself it's the uh, MTM version it's similar to the uh, most Matic um, one that uh, the obsessed garage have and it has the handle and also the the sort of the black kind of a guide or guard uh, at the tip and uh, similar to that and uh, it, it cost me $90 Canadian including shipping so that's coming in the next two weeks I think or a week from now so anyways guys I'm gonna try and put all these things together for you and uh, show you guys how I'm gonna be doing it um, since that uh, all of this are going to be quick connects uh, I'll assemble it here and then the next video I'll be you know when it gets warmer outside a little bit I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna mount it on the wall in the whole nine yards but for this video I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put this together and show you guys the part that you need all right stay tuned all right folks uh, basically here um, we're gonna start off with uh, our pressure washer here the setup that I will be putting in on this one so to start with basically we need this elbow uh, to be installed in the back here So mainly on this one here guys, uh, rule of thumb is that you just gotta look at uh, the connector that you're putting in and if you see a nice, uh, uh, what do you call this thing, a washer in there, a rubber washer, that means that really it's just a uh, hand tight from here in this case. So what I've done also is that I did some cleaning here uh, to basically remove any kind of gunk or any buildup of uh, you know lime or anything there from the water. So that way it sits nicely and it doesn't uh, damage your, uh, your, uh, your, you know, your connector here or the grooves uh, when you put it, put this in place. So again, this is just hand tight in this case because it does have the uh, rubber grommet or the uh, washer in there, so that should uh, do the job. The beauty with this one too guys is that once you lock it in uh, it is a swivel as well so there's a bit of swiveling there swivel movements uh to it so you could actually uh uh what do you call this um undo it a little bit there and you can actually uh um you can make it swivel if you want or just just adjust it accordingly so in this case uh for the time being uh i'm gonna set it up like this for now and we'll just adjust as we go so this one Tight, as, tight, tight it with your hand, basically hand tight in this case. Um, that should be fine. And then the next step would be is to this way. The next item here is uh, our our hose connector here. So the way that works is this is the quick connect part of it that's the coupler and this will go on top here again same similarly this has uh, a rubber uh, o-ring there again uh, as you can see with that you don't need any teflon tape or anything all you do is just tighten it up with your hand or your arm uh, as tight as you can 
and uh, that should seal it nicely. You could also use this a little bit here, give, give it a bit of a, uh, some extra tightness there. And again, if it starts to leak, then you could try to tighten it even more in the process. So in this case, guys, the way that's set now, uh, you could pretty much have it uh, situated so that way it's a little bit uh, in a proper angle there. Because usually uh, I'm going to run a hose uh, either this way or I guess obviously you can't really put it this way because there's this wheel. But I might actually put it down this way uh, and uh, or, or slightly up this way just past the, uh, the, uh, what, the wire here. Uh, the power wire so what i'll do is i'll just tilt it that way a little bit and then tighten it up as much as i can <sighs> again there's a bit of movement there it's a swivel so it's not uh, too tight so in this case guys um my here's my hose here for the garden hose uh, i do have this old quick connect system i have here but it, it's been an old one. Uh, it's been around for a while, and uh, it is. Uh, it does. It does leak now. So I'm not using this one. It does leak quite a bit. So it needs a new O-ring uh, in there. So yeah, rubber rubber uh, O-ring. So what I'm going to be end up using here, actually, uh, yeah, no. In fact, uh, given that these are both female. I actually cannot use this one that came with the actual uh, connector here um, or adapter. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the old um, quick connect or the male side of the quick connect into my my hose here. Uh, this one is pretty much similar to, to this. They're pretty, pretty much identical, almost close to, uh, closely identical, I mean. And this one here, similarly, you just have to tighten it really well. And uh, again, reduce this to somewhat give it more pressure there. Again, no Teflon tape on this one. So in this case, it'll be sitting on the floor and I'll be using it to like so. Uh, and it'll be sitting on the floor uh, in an angle this way so at least now I could really push it against the wall uh, without this protruding too much. But the next step will be guys is that uh, I'll be installing the, the outlet connector here so in this case if you look at this one it is this is an MP, uh, M22 I believe it's a 14 millimeter nozzle this hole right here is about four, four, I believe it's a 14 millimeter. And this little, uh, um, what you might call it, the inner part of this tube, basically that is about 14 mil and it fits exactly uh, in there without any, any issue. Um, let me see if it's the same. In, in fact, it's the same, it should be the same as the old hose itself. Let me look at that. Yeah, in fact, it's the same. The size is the same, so that should fit in there, no problem. It shouldn't require any. Um, it shouldn't require any Teflon tape, definitely on this case. So you should be fine. If you have the smaller version of this, uh, I believe this is the 14. Uh, into the 15. I'm not sure exactly, but anyways, if it's a smaller, if this one's smaller than the actual hole, you could put a Teflon tape and it should work. But in this case, uh, we don't need that. Okay, there. A little bit of leverage there. Here 
There you go. Again, guys, this one here, again, just hang tight. Uh, you can use a little bit of force here again, just to kind of lock it in a little bit. But other than that, that's good enough. And uh, from here, we will need uh, the quick connect. We won't need this part. Basically, all we need is this part. Uh, from, from this point of view, we will be connecting this hose uh, out from here and into the reel. So uh, in this case, I will be needing to install the T. Again, I, I don't want the hose to be going out this way. I want it to be in a T or uh, not a T, uh, in an elbow. So that way it goes up straight to the reel in the process. So. To be able to do that, I will need to have, um, I will need a Teflon tape in this regard. Um, we will be putting this into to the actual quick uh, connect um, NPT here. Uh, NPT uh, 3 8 uh, quick connect. So we will need a Teflon tape. The way the Teflon tape have to uh, be applied here is to put it on clockwise so you don't lose it once uh, you install it in there because um, if you put it the counterclockwise then it's going to be against the, uh, um, what do you call this thing? That should be enough. Um, again, if you apply it, do it counterclockwise so that way when you screw it in, then you don't, uh, you're not against the flow there in the process. You don't lose the Teflon tape in the process. So in this case, uh, in this case, I'm gonna need to use uh, one of this the crescent here guys because I don't have a, a big enough uh, wrench to, to use in this case so I'm going to use this See, the technique I'm using is I'm actually using my hip here to, to brace it and then I use the whole my whole body here to, 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 to tighten it in the process. One more, just for assurance. I can even throw this in the vise, so it's a lot easier to do. But I should be good enough. Um, should be pretty, pretty tight in there. So this will be then. Connected to the hose here. 
This is our jumper cable, jumper hose. And uh, to the jumper hose, again, we need a Teflon tape on this baby here. It's almost there, guys. Yeah. Should be all good. So, as you can see, guys, that will be connected here. So that's how it's connected in a T, also in the back in a T, and now that we'll be able to then uh, put this in the floor in the process here, guys. And uh, this will be connected into our, uh, as you guys can see here, the idea is that. Uh, that we have this um, again it, it's a 3 8 adapter here um, and it just basically connects right in there uh, in this case there is uh, uh, you don't need a Teflon tape on this case I believe because we do have uh, a, um, a tapered connection inside there that will adapt to this uh, this whole thing here so it should be just all tightened up. You have to tighten it up pretty good in that case. So, anyways, guys, I'm not gonna install it all the way in at this point until I put this up on the wall. Uh, so that way, you know, I can make sure that uh, I can, um, you know, um, mount this up first and then be able to put this in because I don't want to be dangling here. Uh, at this point. So I'm just showing you guys that that's how that's connected right there. It's a 3-8 um, uh, connection again in this case and uh, uh, on the hose itself I've already installed this one uh, onto our hose. I'm going to try and tighten it more to secure it even further. Um, let's see here. Just to make sure that we do have a good uh, connection there. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll put two crescents together and tighten this even even more. Uh, 
I think I already tightened this really good uh, earlier on, so this should be all good. Yeah, nice and tight. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's very simple. Again, the reel is going to be the gun is going to be uh, connected to the reel or, or uh, uh, to the hose uh, inlet uh, outlet of the pressure washer going into the uh, the reel here. And then technically we're good to go from here, guys. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, instructional video here, guys. Again, I'm going to list all the parts and the, um, the, the pricing of how much it cost me to, to put all this together, including the one that's not here now. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'm not sure if I forgot anything else, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and uh, yeah, I'm actually, I had this... Uh, this uh, PCB pipe, um, ABS pipe here that I'll, I'll probably use as my wand um, holder. I'm gonna, I'm going to be painting this uh, black, and uh, you know you can then put your wand in there and the gun later on. So that's the plan, guys, is to use that uh, for my my holder. So I'm going with the theme here, the black theme, because everything is black at this point. So that's what I'm going to be doing, is to paint this up in, in, you know, on the wall, and then the gun will sit over there. So that's how it's going to look, guys, from here. So, yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, I appreciate all your, uh, your support. And uh, please, uh, if you do like this video, um, subscribe and, and press the thumbs, bu thumbs up button. And, uh, and activate your uh, notification bell as well in the process so you can you won't miss any of the videos that I'm going to be putting forward. I'll be having possibly two or, or possibly two more videos on on this setup here and have it uh, um, ready for the spring and the summer time frame and uh, do some washing for you as well. I'll probably do a washing on the golf cart or one of the vehicles that is. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Peace out.